I have to redo my nails, but I'm honestly obsessed with the shape, you guys. I thought 100%, like, I thought I was 100% gonna go back to my coffin shape for the wedding renewal, but I don't know. I'm obsessed with the almond shape, you guys, like, completely obsessed. So, what will solidify my decision 100% is what these nails look like in photos so once I get back the engagement photos I'll go ahead and make that decision but I love 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 the shape of nails so I might end up keeping them guys my daughter's bridesmaids dress came in it is stunning stunning so she picked out this dress we were looking at a couple on Amazon and this was the one we settled on in navy blue it's so pretty. It sparkles. It has these really shimmery stars and moon all over the dress. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It has a bow. It's a corset back, uh, which is nice. We got her, I think, a size zero so that we wouldn't have to do too much alterations to it and then I forgot it was a corset back so we don't have to do any alterations which is amazing and when she tried it on yesterday I'll insert pictures here I, I'm just obsessed with it she tried it on with her shoes and her little jewelry that she's gonna wear on the day I just love all the little details, you know? It's very good quality, really well made. I love the length. It's perfect. It's very unique. Very unique. Not a dress you see every day. And then this is the, what is this called? The crinoline. The little thing that goes under it, sold separately, of course. Uh, she wanted this so that her skirt could puff out a little bit more, you know, kind of like that 50s swinger style. So we bought this separately, also from Amazon. And then Hubby bought his ring, also from Amazon, from Metal Masters. It's a titanium ring. So this is his ring. It's really blingy, like it's out there for sure. He tried it on yesterday, wore it for just a little bit to kind of get used to it because he doesn't wear rings. And this is a really big statement piece. But he really, really likes it. We're hoping that it's good quality. It doesn't turn his finger green or anything like that. But it was really inexpensive on Amazon. It was less than 40 bucks, And it looks really, really nice. Hopefully he doesn't lose this one. But again, we stay simple for him because rings are not his thing. And like we didn't want to get him a ring that would be super expensive that he would end up losing or misplacing. And since it's not something he wears all the time, we just wanted something to exchange on the day and then something that was nice for him to wear when we go out, you know. And this is, this is perfect. Things are coming together. We ordered my ring as well. But we're having that shipped to my sister's house. And then my sister will just bring it to us when they come, when she comes. Yeah, because it's cheaper that way. Having it shipped to Costa Rica, it would cost us so much more in taxes and import fees. Because my ring is like white gold and diamonds. We also went ahead and bought my daughter a new phone because you guys, she got robbed on Sunday. I know, it, like, I'm so thankful that the only thing they did was steal her phone. I'm so diligent with my kids, you guys, and I don't let them go anywhere alone. And because it was a Sunday, early Sunday, like 10 o'clock, 10.30, and she was walking a very familiar route you know, trying to give them a little bit more freedom because my daughter's 16. So the guy robbed her, took her phone. I wanted to upgrade her phone eventually anyway because the phones we got the kids, they were such a good deal, but they weren't the best. As far as like the camera quality, it was really not that good. And my daughter takes a lot of photos. So we went ahead and upgraded her 
and bought her a new phone. We got her the Galaxy A14. It came out this year. It was on sale, so it was pretty inexpensive. So I know she's going to really, really, really love this. She's going to be so surprised because we didn't know when we were going to be able to replace her phone. That was just an expense that we weren't like expecting. And turns out we had over $200 sitting on our credit card in points. We didn't know. We just found out that those points don't roll over. So from the time that we've had this credit card until now, we have just used our points. And those points expire every year. You know how much money we lost? You know how much money we could have had? Our credit card is attached to Walmart. So I could have been grocery shopping with all those points we didn't know my husband said he thought the points would roll over and just start accumulating apparently they don't so we lost a lot of money but thankfully we had over two hundred dollars it's like two hundred and sixty dollars in points and this phone was like two hundred and forty or something like that so we didn't even have to come out of pocket for the phone, which was such a blessing. We didn't have to spend any money on this. We used our points. So we're able to replace her phone a lot quicker than we thought we would be able to. And um, now she has a better, more upgraded phone. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm here picking up the kids. Anyway, I just wanted to get on to kind of share my skin update and like, tell you guys a little bit about what we recently went through because that's such a traumatic experience I've had my phone stolen before but like sneakily out of my bag I didn't realize my phone was stolen until I had reached my destination and I went to go get my phone and it was gone she got robbed like it's such a traumatic experience <sighs> anyway I'm gonna sign off I don't know what this vlog is going to consist of. I'm just filming random stuff. So whenever I have anything of importance or anything I want to share with you guys, I'll pick back up the camera and I'll film. All right, guys. Same day, different location. I'm actually waiting on my son to get out of his boxing class because he just started boxing boot camp classes and I'm the one that takes him. So he can pretty much go any day of the week as many times as he wants to and it's such an amazing deal because it's only $50 a month and he can go as many times as he wants he doesn't have like a specific day he has to go he can go five days a week he can go multiple times in a day so I didn't even mention today is Tuesday by the way so I took him to his class but there is a huge warehouse type store next to his boxing studio and I had seen it a couple of times passing by here. And last week when I took him to class and I, um, we were heading out, I was like, I got to come to that store because what they do is I think they get Amazon returns. They have stuff in there from Amazon, Target, Home Depot, all the brands in the States that aren't here in Costa Rica. And so they have a lot of products in there that you can't buy in Costa Rica that aren't available in stores so I decided to go and check it out today and they have like promotions every day so depending on the day of the week you can get certain items for like six dollars four dollars two dollars a dollar I just went to like the general bins I'm definitely going to go back to this store. Like, it's going to become a regular store because I'm right here anyway. I wait for my son. His class is an hour. So it doesn't make sense for me to go home and then come back with all this traffic. It would take me literally, like, almost the same time just to go home to come back and get him. So I wait for him. So today I didn't wait in the car. I decided to go check out the store. And I'm definitely going to be going back because I'm here anyway. I'm gonna make this store a regular habit now it's not gonna be a good thing for my wallet but the prices aren't terrible and especially if it's items that I can't find here I think it's worth it so I went in there I didn't even browse for that long and I didn't even look at the whole store so I went in there real quick and I bought a couple of items there were a lot 
a lot of stuff that I wanted to get that caught my eye that I was like, I need that. But I had to rein myself in because I definitely didn't want to like spend too much money in there because this wasn't like a plan. You know, I'm trying to be financially responsible. So I spent what, like $60, $70. And I know that's a lot, but I got a lot of stuff. So I just want to give you guys a quick haul to show you what I got. All right, this is everything that I picked up. They stopped stocking this in stores. Like, they stopped selling this in Costa Rica. And the last one that I bought, um, I got it when I was in Boston, and I completely ran out. So I went ahead and got the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner because y'all already know Aussie's my ride or die. I've been needing to go to San Jose to the cosmetic store. That's where I, that's where I re-up on all of our hair products. That store is pretty expensive, but again, they have all the best brands for natural, curly, kinky, coily hair that they don't sell in Costa Rica. But I haven't been there, so I saw that they had a couple of hair products that I wanted to try. So they had this Curl Keeper Liquid Styler, so I'm going to try that. They have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil strengthen and restore treatment mask y'all know that i buy this from the miami cosmetics store in san jose so i picked up another container i got this for my daughter the rice water hair growth shampoo just so she can give this a try i got the bug spray some of the packaging is like not the best but it was worth it to get this now they do sell this in costa rica but this huge bottle was ten dollars at this store this is the cleanser that my esthetician recommended that i get to wash my face y'all know with the peeling and stuff it has to be something that's super gentle on your skin um so i picked that up i also got this for us to try the pacifica vegan coconut milk detangle elixir it smells really good so we're gonna give that a try i also got this because again i need to get facial moisturizers that are going to be gentle on my skin and she recommended my esthetician recommended um creams with hyaluronic acid i wish i had come to this store first before i bought the 24 dollar one that i bought at the supermarket this one was 10 dollars, and it has no fragrances and no dyes and then the last thing i got is this so cozy kids curl leave-in conditioner and therapy for the kids so this will tide me over for a little while i don't have to go to the hair supply store in san jose um because i i needed to go y'all i literally was gonna try to go sometime this week so now that i have some of these on hand um i can put that off for like a later date you know what this store reminds me of I don't know if you guys have ever been to or seen people on YouTube talk about those Amazon return stores. That's what it reminds me of. It's definitely like worth a visit. Like it was definitely worth the visit for me today. And I'm definitely going to go back because they had so many amazing products, brands that are super popular in the States that they don't carry here in Costa Rica. So I would definitely go back and I'm going to take my time next time and look around a little bit more because it's like huge. You have to like search for things. It's not like organized on a shelf like you would in a store or a grocery store or anything like that. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But next time I go, I'll film and I'll share that experience with you guys. But I'm super happy with everything that I got. It's raining. Y'all can hear that. I made another purchase for the wedding renewal. I got the bubbles that everyone's going to blow right after the ceremony. And I tried these out. They are pretty good. I went to the party store. She had a bunch of bubbles. Um, but like wedding related type ones, she had this one and then she had the champagne bottles. But the champagne bottles, as cute as they were, and I probably would have gotten them because they were a little bit cheaper than these ones, the bubble wand was whack. It wasn't blowing bubbles at all. Like, at all. These ones, they were good. They were blowing a lot of bubbles. So I got 24. I don't think I need to get a bubble for every single guest. 
So I got 24. Hopefully I'll be able to set them up somewhere, like put them in a basket or something or on a table at the venue. And then the coordinator or someone can direct the guests to like take one and then instruct them to like blow the bubbles right after when we're heading out so that we can get some good photo opportunities with the bubbles. So I really like these. I love the two hearts. I think it's super cute. It's very appropriate for a wedding. So I got those and they were like $17 or so. It's pretty expensive for bubbles, I think, for 24 bubbles. I was looking to spend a little bit less, but it is what it is. I got the bubbles so I can check that off my list. You guys, I just got off a Zoom call with our florist. Now, if I didn't mention, let me just say that the venue that we picked is pretty pretty all-inclusive so they include the DJ the photographer the catering the decorations the florals and our florist is the one that's going to be in charge of all the floral decor and stuff like that like our centerpieces bouquet everything so I had talked to my venue last week about setting up meetings to finalize everything with everyone. So I wanted to finalize things with the efficient. I believe they provide one. Um, finalize the menu so we can go for our tasting. Um, finalize the music selection so we have to meet with our DJ, all of that stuff. So today my florist contacted me and we had a Zoom call so I was able to pretty much give her an idea of what I wanted. I kind of didn't know um, like specifics but I had an idea of what I was looking for so that she could know how to go about bringing my vision to life. Um, we had a pretty quick meeting. It was less than 30 minutes, I think. So um, I was able to pick the ceremony decor. So I picked like um, these pillars. I'm going to insert photos of everything that I picked because like I wasn't really sure what would be available to me, like what they had um, decor wise and things like that. So she gave me some ideas and pretty much the first pictures that she would show me besides the arch, like I think it was the second picture she showed me, but she would show me some ideas and then try to get a feel for what I wanted. So it was fairly easy, really quick. The core really doesn't matter, especially for the ceremony because it's going to be outside and Villa del Lago, our venue is beautiful absolutely gorgeous amazing so you don't really need to do too much and so she asked me what colors I wanted for the florals and I just wanted to keep it simple so I picked my bouquet she showed me this picture and I really liked it so I told her this is perfect let's go with that because it has the touch of blue and then it's white which is super simple and elegant and classic and then it has a touch of green greenery in it which I've been liking with the colors navy and gold I think the greenery looks really good and it's another color that I can incorporate without having it like take over you know what I mean because it's like natural it's it's greenery so that's the bouquet and the boutonniere for my husband will pretty much match. And I think I'm going to go through her for the bridesmaids bouquet, like mini bouquets and um, mini boutonnieres for the groomsmen, our sons. But I'm still going to go to two local florist shops just to find out how much they would charge. But her mini bouquets for the bridesmaids are like $8. So I don't think that's too bad. And then I picked this arch i'm obsessed with it i love the drapery i love the fabric i love the florals so that's what i picked i'm sure my husband probably doesn't really care so that is what i told her i liked that i would want and then the centerpieces i've been dreaming about these centerpieces you guys ever since i saw them and i was like these are the centerpieces i really really want a lot of places charge extra for these because they're tall and I figure they're just a little bit more elegant. They're more on the pricier end, but it's included. Like I got to choose the centerpieces. So I'm going to pop up some photos here.
and obviously it's going to be customized to our colors but i'm excited she told me she could put um vases with floating candles at the base which is exactly what i wanted either i wanted a base floral base or like candles because candles give you that ambiance we are having an early ceremony the reception does start fairly early um, but it goes into the evening so it'll be dark enough for a couple of hours so that we can have that ambiance and that effect that I want from the candles for the sweetheart table where me and um, my husband's gonna sit it's a little bit different it's more grand because obviously we are the couple of the hour everyone's there to celebrate us so we get a little bit more we get to be extra and when she showed me this photo of the sweetheart table I I almost died it's perfection so that is the photo of the sweetheart table that I want that inspiration that she showed me I was like I want everything just like that absolutely stunning I could not even have imagined in my wildest dreams having a sweetheart table that looked as stunning as that it is so extra it is so me it is gorgeous it's everything that I could have dreamed of and I'm so excited she's like we're gonna make your dreams come true <laughs> so I am obsessed with that I am so excited that we get to have pretty much the table of my dreams and I didn't even know it was the table of my dreams until I saw it because I could never have like dreamt that because it just looks so luxe and it looks so expensive, but I got it and I'm getting it and I'm excited. So I cannot wait. So that's the sweetheart table decor and design. And then the last thing I picked out was the ceremony, like the aisle decor. I decided not to do the aisle decor she showed me um, two photos and then I went on her Facebook page and I looked at how she decorates the aisle and it's pretty. And I'll put a picture here. It's pretty, but I feel like because the ceremony's outside, like it really doesn't need aisle decor and I feel like it might get in the way when people are like finding their seats and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm like probably overthinking it, but she said if I have any um, doubts or if I want to make any changes, I can definitely do that. So if I decide I want to go with the aisle decor or if I decide I want to add that for an extra charge, I can. I don't really foresee me doing that because that's just extra money that I don't need to be dropping on aisle decor that probably no one will notice. So I decided to forego that for now and I decided to go with these. So these are the pillars that I actually saw in a photo from the um, the venue's website. And I really liked how they look. They're grand enough where they, they actually like command attention. You know what I mean? Like people will notice them because they stand out. It's like a statement piece. More my style and it's not in the way. It's definitely out front and center. So the guests will be able to like, appreciate it a little bit more, I feel like. I mean, I like it better. But um, we'll see. It's what I picked for now. So that's the update on um, our florist appointment. Um, we are in the like final stages, I feel like, because uh, it's coming up on almost being a month out from the wedding renewal. Um, June is a couple of days away and by June 7th, I need to finalize every single detail. Planning this vow renewal with like an all-inclusive venue has been the dream. It's been like what dreams are made of, basically. I don't really have to do much of anything but like pick what I want, you know, and that's been really nice. I feel like a celebrity. I feel like I belong on one of those reality TV shows. It's been a breeze. Basically, it's it's been nice. Whenever there's anything new, any progress to be made, anything else that I get done for the renewal, I will keep you guys updated. Oh, that fits you nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. 
Go try on the pants. Lift up your arms. Like up to your head. Okay. It's too big? Like, big. Wait, let me see. You look like a little man. I like it. You like it? It's not, no es azul como, no son iguales. It's igual. Yeah. Oh, it looks different. Oh, yeah, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I like this. I, I like this fit better, Jail, right? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. You see? Yeah, I like that fit better. It's not a square. It's not a square. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, that is so cute. No, no, no. L lift up your your arms. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Put your hands down. Yeah. You're cringe. Yeah, I like that. I like this, and it comes with everything. So. Yeah, I think that will go. Y'all, I'm so excited right now because as you saw, we got the boys their suits for the wedding renewal. That was a huge thing that we had on our to-do list that we got checked off today. So I'm so excited. Like things are just coming together. <sighs> this is gonna be so lit. So anyway, we went to two stores. The first store, they're like a men's suit store. So it looks like they specialize in suits, right? But I didn't love their selection and I didn't love the fit of the suit jackets on my boys like I just wasn't feeling it and so they were telling me that they could actually take their measurements and customize the suit to fit them better but um in doing that because it would be kind of like custom even though it would still be a rental they would add an extra charge it was only like twenty dollars extra which would make it like ninety dollars total for the rental which is a really good price However, I I just didn't want to commit. Like, I, I just felt something didn't feel right. I wasn't 100% on board. Even though I loved that idea, I still wanted to go to the second store that we went to just to check them out. I've been to this store multiple times before. They're legit, okay? Um, they're called Lara Liz Novias. They specialize in bridal like a bridal boutique it's not just for brides they have quinceanera dresses they have like gala formal type dresses um prom dresses things like that and then they also rent suits i know because that's where i rented my son's prom suit from so that's why i knew i wanted to go back because i know their selection is top tier so i went to the first store that was kind of like my backup, but I wanted to go there first to see what they had, like what their pricing was like, what their selection was like. And we just weren't, you know, none of us was really like feeling their suits. So we went to Lara Liz and as soon as you walk in, it's a totally different vibe, like totally different vibe, definitely more upscale, definitely just better quality stuff. So when the boys tried on their suits, we automatically knew like right away, we were like, yeah, these are the suits. My daughter was like, those are the suits. Everybody was feeling the suits. And to top it off, it comes with everything. It comes with five pieces. So it comes with the suit jacket, the pants, the shirt, the tie, and the vest. 
my boys are going to be styling, okay? They're going to be styling. We're going to crush it at the wedding renewal. They're going to look amazing. The thing I liked about Lara Liz too is the um, return time is longer. So the other suit place, we would have to return the suits the day after the renewal, which would be the 8th. At La Reliz, we don't have to return the suits until the Monday, which is the 10th. So that works out perfectly for me. I'm not going to personally be able to return the suits anyway because we're heading on our honeymoon vacation with our family um, right after the vow renewal. So we're going to be at the beach. But I'm going to ask one of my girlfriends if they can return the suits for me because it's in our town. It's like in the center of our town. And one of my girlfriends can just pull up real quick and just return the suits for me. And so I'm going to put out feelers to see who will be willing to do that. But I'm so excited that I got that checked off the list. My daughter has her bridesmaids dress. She has her shoes. My boys have their suits. I think the only person that might need a pair of shoes is my nine-year-old because he doesn't have black dress shoes. So we might have to buy him a pair of shoes. But I'll worry about that another day. I'm just excited that they got their suits. I'm so geeked right now. I'm so excited. Lara Liz, the attention was there. The attention at the other store was definitely there. They were super nice. And I feel really bad right now that I have to like text them to let them know that we're just going to go another route. Because I think they were really excited to get my business. But... They, they just weren't bringing it. They weren't it. Lara Liz took their measurements to make sure that the pants will fit properly. They take charge of everything. They do the alterations to the pants um, just to make sure that the pants fit, especially the length. They do the alterations to the jacket, to the sleeves to make sure that they're the correct length because all the jackets fit my boys so good. The vests were fine. We also got to pick out like ties. So the boys customized their ties and they each got to pick out a different style of tie, which I liked because my girls are not all wearing the exact same dress. I figured the boys could kind of switch it up with their ties. And then I paid my deposit to reserve everything, sign the contract. They're gonna do the alterations and make sure everything fits. They're going to clean the suits. They're gonna um, steam the suits, make sure they look nice and crisp. And then we go pick up the suits the day before on the 6th. They open at 10. So pick them up the day before and then um, I'll have a friend drop them off that Monday. The deposit I paid was half the amount of the total rental. And to rent everything from La Liz wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that much more expensive than the other store. The other store I said was what, $90? Lara Liz with everything, like the five pieces, was like 110. So much better. So worth it. Like the price was just such a good deal. So much better. I'm so glad I decided to go with my gut and not go with the first door and go check out Lara Liz like I knew I wanted to because we definitely, definitely hit the jackpot with them. All the boys love, like, love their suits. And um, my daughter and I, we love how the suits look. It just looks better, better quality, better fit, just better overall. You know what I mean? So I paid the deposit, which was half the total price, which wasn't that bad. So everything's all set for me to pick everything up on the 6th. And then on the 6th, I'll pay the rest of the deposit. And they'll hold a deposit on my card just to make sure that when we return the suits, they're in good condition. You can't return them ripped and damaged and like completely stained to like no return but you can return them dirty because they will clean them for you there's no fee for that oh and i got my nails done again i'm telling y'all this almond shape got me in a chokehold i think i might keep this for the wedding renewal but i got this it's a little bit different for me but i'm obsessed with it i really like it and i think the reason why i like it so much is because it's the almond shape. I don't know if I would love it as much if it was in the coffin shape. I don't know. But this is what I got. 
think it's super cute.